I feel like I'm going stir crazy. As I said earlier, today is Saturday, although it feels like a Sunday because I was off work yesterday, which was Friday, so officially that was Saturday. Yeah, don't even try and follow that. I needed to get out of the house. Look at the water coming down there. That is phenomenal. The original plan for this weekend had been an astro weekend out at Anglesey. Um, the weather put pay to that. I think we're getting the remains of Hurricane Dorian. So that kind of went by the board. And then I found another location where the tide times are absolutely perfect for the images that I wanted to get. It was going to be a 400 plus mile round trip and the weather was looking ideal. And then slowly but surely, the closer we got to the weekend, the worse it became. And I, I can't afford to be doing 400 miles and not coming away with some images that I'm happy with. So I've spent a considerable amount of time sat on my backside amending my website. There's a link, by the way, below to my website. Um, hop over, have a look, if you wouldn't mind. And I needed to get out of the house today, which is Saturday afternoon. So I phoned at the Posse View. Mr. Sheeta is down there. And so grab your bag, we're off. And we are at a place called Cauldron Falls in North Wiltshire. Never been here before. All the images I've seen of it, there is sort of a vague trickle of water coming down. I think we've got slightly more than that today. There is a little bit of colour in the trees. Just on these branches are just starting to turn, but it really is a little bit too early for the full autumn colour. So in a couple of compositions, I'm not sure how much you're going to hear if I stand down there and try and talk to you, but I'll do my best to talk you through what I'm thinking, what I'm doing, and we'll go from there. I'm going to go get set up. I'm probably going to have to shout because the noise down here is ridiculous. No filters. No filters are us. I'm set up at F14 and half a second after some advice from my uh, esteemed colleague over there. And no filters. Now, I'm going to try with the polarizer on because there's a sheen on the water. The polarizer will take that off, but that's also going to extend my exposure time, which I don't really want. Half a second seems to be absolutely perfect. And I'm trying really hard not to grin here. But the power, it's, it's invigorating. It's filling me with the desire to run around like an idiot and smile and scream and giggle. Maybe I'm just old, because it's a Saturday that thinks it's a Sunday. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what I've got, and I'll try and show you what I mean. Without the polarizer on, there's a, there's like a streakiness. It's bizarre. Let me see if I can show you. You can see. It's, I can't describe it, but it's a silkiness. And that's without the polarizer on. The basic composition is the waterfall, top right hand, and then these three, ridges which are caused by rocks under the water and then the water flowing over the edge but I'm really liking that texture to the water really pleased with that that might even be one for an abstract image I can't remember, and even more so, I don't understand. I have my camera set to HDR. I'm entirely sure why. I think that's because it's the last time I used it, and we were at Lynn Mantel, or however you pronounce it. So I'm concentrating on doing some abstracts, and I can't figure out why I'm setting the shutter speed, and when I review the image, the shutter speed's changing. I'm being a numpty. Yes, you've got it set on HDR. Or bracketing, should I say. So now I've turned that off. I mean, I'm in love. I haven't put the polarizer on yet. 
I'm going to have to in a minute because I just want to see the effect that it gives. I'm going to try and show you the difference that the polarizer makes. We'll go on to live view. There you go, that's the scene. Now that's with the polarizer fully on. When you take the polarizer off, the glare coming up on this side is ridiculous. You see how much of the light the polarizer cuts off. Pretty impressive piece of kit. Even shooting abstracts, you still need to have an eye on your composition, which kind of sounds a bit odd because an abstract should just be that. But there's a way that the water flows. Um, I'll, I'll probably have to turn you around and show you this. We've got a lovely curve there, and then that curve there, and then the water rushing down. So I've kind of zoomed in a bit to just keep those two in the composition and I'm looking at a probably a square crop. I like it colour but I might end up turning it mono because I think it works just as well. Now I've popped the polarizer on and it's made a difference. It's giving me a longer exposure time which is really annoying so I might have to up the shutter speed. Uh, sorry, up the ISO to compensate for that. But I'm still getting that beautiful streaky effect. I've only taken one shot with the waterfall and that's where I came. <laughs> amounts of fun just shooting the abstracts I wasn't really concerned about the actual waterfall but those abstracts are so much fun and I've only got the 17 to 55 on I think if I'd had the 70 to 200 that would have opened up a few more compositions so I've just come down to the other side there's a lovely little bridge you see here a little stone bridge and the water is oh where are we flowing lovely under there and I spotted a composition from here when we arrived so I'm just going to set up and see if I can get this one I didn't notice these nettles and I'm very tempted to see if I can go over here which I'm probably really not allowed to do and to be honest there's not a huge amount of room over there but I think there's an image to be had there and I'd love to get down there there's a... where are we? There's a ledge, but it really does look, yeah, it's far too steep to get down there. <laughs> so I'll give that one a miss, I have to bring a rope ladder next time. And there's more rain forecast tomorrow from, oh, 2 o'clock in the morning all day. It's just supposed to be torrential rain. So this is going to be even more ridiculous tomorrow. But I definitely feel energised. It's bizarre. The power of the water has sort of brought me back to life again. So glad I come out. Right, I'm going to get set up and see what I can get. Not quite as nice a composition as I first thought it was going to be. Quite tricky to set up because... Where is it? That little post kind of gets in the way. If I'm the other side of the post, I don't get enough of the water flowing down but the only place I can seem to find is here and it's just about there should be a little bit of cloning to do Woo, where are we just the edge of that little board needs to be taken out but I think there is enough contrast in that scene to make it work as a mono looking at it on the back of the screen well it wouldn't be on the front of the screen would it on the rear screen of my camera I think that might actually work as a mono. So yeah, quite pleased with that. So I'm going to have a, a wander around the far side and see if there's anything up there, anything different that I can get without getting soaking wet. And it's nice not having to use a gazillion and one filters. Here, because of where the light's coming in, the polarizer isn't really having any effect at all. So 
it makes a change not to have to filter. It's a refreshing change, just relying on the shutter speed, which is averaging at about half a second at f14. The light is slowly but surely fading. I say it was five o'clock when we got here and sunset is seven o'clock and we've got to be knocking on for about half past six now. There's a solid blanket of clouds so we're not going to get any colour and overcast conditions are absolutely ideal for shooting waterfalls. And I've had a good wander around. I've been up the top here. I've got a composition which I kind of like but it's way too noisy to talk to up there and I was also getting covered in spray so it was just two shots and that was it. Now just before we pack up to go home I need to talk to you about a viewer's photo and if I can get my phone to work because reception is pretty pants down here this one oh is an absolute beauty it's so me and it's taken in one of my favorite spots in scotland at the fourth road rail bridge and it's been sent in by char one so thank you very much char that's a beautiful image beautiful little bit of color in the sky you've got the fourth rail bridge but you've got a little bit of foreground interest in the anchor and i've never seen that composition before so yeah that's a really really lovely shot Thank you very much chat and I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, well that was huge, huge fun. I just want to check the time. Yes, it's quarter to seven. So for a quick couple of hours, that was massive fun. The waterfall itself didn't really get much attention from me. I was loving the abstracts. I need to do a waterfall trail. There's five or six that I found through my research over the last sort of four or six hours today. And you can do them all in a loop in a full day. And obviously it doesn't really matter what the weather's like. Obviously you don't really want rain, but overcast, cloudy, oh, fabulous. And this spot in autumn, will make wonderful patterns in the water. The leaves, I'm not very good with trees, but I think there's a lot of beech trees from the shapes of the leaves and possibly and there could be oak trees. I don't think they're maples, they're not the right color. Um, but those, when they drop the leaves, the colored leaves into the water will look phenomenal. So yeah, it's been a really fabulous couple of hours. Thank you to my esteemed colleague down there great thing about these little get-togethers is we get to a location and we just go our separate ways and do our own things. We really ought to spend some more time together talking about what we're doing, why we're doing it, how we're doing it. Maybe one day we'll get that sorted. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little outing. I hope it's put a smile on your face and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye for now.